All right, so I was working on a project with some cameras and I wanted to be able to do automated pan tilt and adjustments for the cameras. So I bought this little pan tilt kit right here and uh, wasn't too expensive. The servos are pretty small. I think they might be too small for my, uh, my cameras, but it'd be a fun project to play with. I got two of these. Uh, I'm going to be able to drive them with a Raspberry Pi. So let's talk about all the parts I got to do this. Um, got some servo extension cables. I got a case for the Raspberry Pi. Now I bought this case just so it had the GPIO port open on the top. You'll see why in a minute. And then I got this from a Micro Center. It's an Adafruit uh, PWM hat for the uh, Raspberry Pi. You just mount it to the top of the Raspberry Pi and it can control up to 16 different servos. So that's really cool. Uh, one set has two, so that means I can have eight sets of uh, pan tilt, which is great. So today, uh, there's some assembly required. So it has all these little pieces that come with it. All right, see? So I'm going to be building this today, and I figured you know, you might want to watch. So here we go. Uh, just to demonstrate how it should look when it's done. Raspberry Pi goes into the case. Man, this is just one I have laying around. I got five or six of these things uh, around. And there's the GPIO, so it just sits on top just like that, right? And then my uh, servos connect right here, I believe. This is a, a power bus, it looks like, it seems. Um, and then inputs and outputs. Haven't gone through it all just yet, but I do know I have to build it before I can play with it. So let's go ahead and build it. Uh, let's talk about the tools I have. I have my, uh, my trusty soldering iron. Now I have this. It's an old, uh, I guess you could say it's old now, since Radio Shack's not in business anymore. It's an old Radio Shack desoldering pump. And how that works is you put it on a, a connection and you just solder it up. And that sits on a, a magnetized pan. Uh, I don't have a stand for it. And then I have a, a wet sponge super important I got thin solder I got thick solder I got picks uh, clothes pin desoldering pin contact cleaner uh, duster you nail know, nose pliers micro pliers all right and one thing that's kind of cool is it doesn't have an instruction book you don't need one because it has the uh, website on the package all right so the uh, servo header goes right here I don't have them soldered on yet okay and then the GPO excuse me the GPIO header is going to go right there and then right there next to the power right there goes the uh, this so imagine that's if I want to have like a hardwired screw terminal power uh, I could also just have that I'm, I'm going to put this on either way all right, so let's go ahead and solder one of these servo headers on. Uh, should be pretty easy, it's just 12 pins. So I'm gonna use my uh, thin solder, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna pull off a bit, break it off, I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers. You know, it makes it a little bit easier to uh, manage when it's like that. You dig and then I'm going to go down I'm gonna tin tip my iron I'm gonna wash it off all right then I'm gonna tin it again you want a clean iron you always want a clean iron 
Now I want to touch the pin and then with the iron, then I want to touch the pin with the solder. Uh, just so you see right here, this one I did, uh, can you see, it's kind of crooked compared to the rest of them, that one right there, so I'm going to desolder it real quick and then put it back on. Okay, so now I got the headers in for the servos. Now I need to put the GPIO header in. So it's important to remember the servos connect to the top, but the Raspberry Pi connects to the bottom, right? So I'm gonna do the process again with the GPIO header. All right, so now I just need to put the uh, power, auxiliary power connector on. Well enough. So then my servos will just plug on. Just like that. How cool is that? But I wouldn't have these connected directly. Extensions, this is uh, 12 extensions. So I will need more of these before I'm done with the whole project, but for testing, this is just fine. So like I just put that right there, see, and I put the next one right next to it, and I just fill it out as I go. And then my servos plug into that. And whenever you're done soldering, I recommend always at least spraying it with contact cleaner. That way you can get all the fucks and stuff off of it. It dries pretty quick and so that's that's that. Uh, it turns out that with the case actually on it doesn't fit. They make a, an extension for the GPIO that I may get. Uh, but I may just get standoffs. But like that, it does look pretty sweet, doesn't it? So I may just get some standoffs and do that. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to configure this and how to set up the Raspberry Pi to control servos.